Welcome back to Infigyan my dear friends. Today in this video we are going to simplify one algebraic expression. It is square root 7 plus square root 5 minus square root 2 over square root 2 whole power 6 plus root 7 minus root 5 plus root 2 over root 2 whole power 6. So let's get started by considering first bracket as A and second bracket we will consider B. So ultimately we are calculating A power 6 plus b power 6. Now I will write a and b. So a is equal to root 7 plus root 5 minus root 2 divided by root 2 and b is root 7 minus if I will take common then root 5 minus root 2 divided by root. You can see. Now from these two values, I will calculate a plus b and a times b. So I can write a plus b equal to. So this bracket root 5 minus root 2 and root 5 minus root 2 with negative sign, it will be cancelled out. So it will left 2 times root 7 divided by root. This 2 we can write root 2 times root 2 and then we have root 7 over root 2. Now this root 2 and root 2 will be over. So a plus b will become root 2 times root 7. It is root 14. Now let's find out a times b. So it is root 7 plus 1 bracket root 7 minus 1 1 bracket. So a plus b a minus b a square minus b square root 7 a square minus root 5 minus root 2 whole square divided by root 2 times root 2 so 2. Now I will write 7 minus a minus b whole square a square plus b square minus 2ab divided by 2. Now this 5 plus 2 is 7 with negative sign, positive 7. So it will become plus 2 root 10 over 2, it means root 10. So AB is root 10 and A plus B is root 14 and we are going to calculate A power 6 plus B power 6. Let me write here A power 6 plus B power 6. We are knowing a plus b equal to root 14 and a times b equal to root 10. Now I will consider the first equation a plus b equal to square root 14. Let me consider squaring both sides. a plus b whole square. I can write a square plus b square plus 2ab equal to 14. Now I will write ab is equal to square root 10. So a square plus b square plus 2 root 10 equal to 14. So we can write a square plus b square is equal to 14 minus 2 root 10. Now we have to calculate a power 6 plus b power 6 value. So I will consider cubing this equation. So let us consider cube both sides. a square whole cube. And right hand side also 14 minus 2 root 10 whole cube. Now I will use a plus b whole cube formula. So a cube. So a square whole cube, a power 6, b cube, b square whole cube, b power 6 plus 3 times product of both a square b square and the sum a square plus b square. And right hand side is 14 minus 2 root 10 whole cube. 
now ab is square root 10 so here we can write square root 10 whole square so i can write a square b square this will be 10 so a power 6 plus b power 6 3 times 10 so 30 in bracket a square plus b square so this value was 14 minus 2 root 10 equal to this is the value of a square plus b square 14 minus 2 root 10 whole cube now i will keep a power 6 plus b power 6 to lhs and rest of the terms in the rhs let us write here a power 6 plus b power 6 i will keep here and right hand side it would be 14 minus 2 root 10 whole cube minus 30 times 14 minus 2 root 10 now i will take 14 minus 2 root 10 common so in bracket i will be writing 14 minus 2 root 10 whole square minus 30 only now i will write 14 minus 2 root 10 as it is and then here we will write a minus b whole square formula so it will become 14 square plus 2 root 10 whole square then i will write minus 2 times 14 times 2 root 10 and then i will put minus 30 so i can write here 14 minus 2 root 10 in bracket 14 square is 196 2 root 10 whole square so 4 times 10 40 then it is minus 56 root 10 and this is minus 30 now I will simplify 14 minus 2 root 10 times 196 plus 10. So it is 206 minus 56 root 10. Now we have to multiply these two brackets. So I can write our final expression a power 6 plus b power 6 equal to 14 minus 2 root 10 times in bracket 206 minus 56 root 10 okay let's multiply 14 times 206 so it will become 2884 14 times 56 root 10 so it will be with negative sign 784 root 10 then i will be writing minus because 2 root 10 times 206 so it will become 412 root 10 and last product we will take 2 root 10 with 56 root 10 so it will become 1120 with positive sign so once i will simplify i will get 4004 minus 1196 root 10 so this is our ultimate answer for this specified question. I hope this video will be meaningful to you. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe friends. Bye bye till next video. Good luck and take care of yourself.